Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel, and I often get asked about, you know, how we are going towards the future of Windows. And we've got some interesting uh, new um, input here where um, we seem to have some form of future mix between Windows 10 X and Windows 10 in some ways. So one of the things that we had heard is that the uh, so when you will get the October 2020 um, update, you'll see this new uh, kind of uh, theme uh, controlled start menu that looks better and some new icons. And, you know, we were talking about how this is um, kind of a, a refresh, a little bit of the interface. It's not a big change, but it's, you know, it's, it's a change. And one of the things that some were speculating is that this change comes with Windows 10 X, which means that some of the Windows 10 X refresh will also make it to Windows 10 standard version. So this is interesting. And now we learn a little more because um, we had a new build yesterday for the dev channel, which is was the fast ring and the insider rings. But one of the things that showed up, and um, I'll share his Twitter account link in the description below the video. There's a user, a Twitter user called Albacore that checks out all sorts of, you know, unusual Windows things. Well, one of the things that he actually showed yesterday is um, the new out-of-box experience. Out-of-box experience is that um, install phase when you take Windows and do a clean install from scratch, for example. This is what we call the out-of-box experience. Well, the interface has changed. The way that the, um, the questions asked have changed. This is kind of interesting because it's showing us a different side of install. And a lot of the things we see here seems that they would probably be um, from Windows 10 X. Now, you know, we are in trial versions in the Insider uh, rings, so that doesn't mean that this makes it to the official finished product when it comes out. But you see here, this is a refresh. It's different from what it was. So who's going to use your PC? And then you have the privacy settings page, the way that the pages presented is very different before it was everything was blue and you would ask you questions within that uh, now it's white it's kind of it looks more modern um, you know the install phase of windows 10 had not changed that much in a long time even though they had tweaked it they had changed a little bit of the options and the way that it goes through the same style of install was pretty much there for the past few years. So this seems to be a refresh of that uh, that's being shown here. So that is kind of nice because it does give it a more modern look, that's for sure, when you install Windows. One of the biggest problems in the install phase, though, is that they're adding some... They're, there's The options are there, but they're adding new options over it, which makes it a little more uh, questions to answer or, you know, what what do they mean or not. I wish, honestly, that Windows 10 would have a very simple install phase. Just install and, um, you know, ask the minimum amount of questions because for most people, they just don't know what to answer to a lot of those things. But the uh, install phase definitely is going to change. And like they say, a lot of it and a lot of what it looks like right now seems to be part of what Windows 10 X will be. So this, honestly, even though it's showing up in an in insider build, could actually be the Windows 10 X install phase, not necessarily the Windows 10 um, regular version, desktop version, if you want, install. But it's interesting to see that there's changes coming up. And I think that is a start in showing us what the future of Windows will be in 2021 as we still think there's only one version of Windows 10 for desktop and that the first half of 2021 will have a Windows 10 X version coming out. So we're going to keep an eye on that, but 
definitely changes are in the air for some uh, of the Windows 10, uh, at least the install phase. And I think that it's not over. I think a lot of the uh, icons and a lot of the settings and the things that will be showing up in Windows 10 X might actually creep over into Windows 10 also. Um, if, you know, it's lighter, if it's more beautiful, if it adds a little more uh, modern look to it, why not? I think that's a good idea. I actually find that the redesigned start menu, even though it's a simple change, is already much better. So um, let's hope that this kind of continues and making it a little more beautiful and that they continue, of course, mostly making it as stable as possible and as good as possible. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.